Hello friends! Welcome to Square Plans. I'm Stephanie and today we're going to be setting up my faith planner for the month of December. I've got some sticker sheets here ready to go as well as some washi tape I plan to use, some markers that I will be using as well, some dot stickers from Daiso, this dashboard extension pack so I can use the numbers, and these sticker books which I pulled from. Okay, you guys, so this is the last month of the year in my faith planner. Pretty excited about this. It's been quite a year in this planner and I'm pretty excited to finish it off right. So for my monthly spread this month, I decided to do 31 days of kindness. I looked up different 31 day plans of kindness on Pinterest. None of them were perfect for me. Some of them were more geared towards kids or some were just things that I knew I would never have the opportunity to do, especially in COVID times. So what I did is I just picked and chose the ones that I thought were doable for me from different lists. So I don't have a master list that I went off of. But if you just do a search on Pinterest, you'll find plenty of challenges like this that you can kind of customize your own or follow any one of those. That's what I did and I penciled in the ones I thought would work so that it's ready to go for me as well as penciled in the title which I just outlined with my Tombow marker. I'm putting in a sticker here kind of filling the space. I wasn't really sure what to do with this extra space here so I'm just going to use a wreath sticker that goes with the theme that I'm doing this month, as you'll see. <laughs> and I just lost one of the stickers. <laughs> it's one of those moments where something fell off or popped off and I couldn't relocate it. So anyway, that's what that little weirdness was about. What I did is I used the dot stickers that I had from a pack of Daiso labels and am using them for holly berries. They were the right size, they just weren't quite the right color, so I actually, you'll see me do this later in the video, I colored over them with a Sharpie to darken them a little bit. That worked perfect, it gave just the right tone that I was looking for. I also just whited out the beginning and ending boxes on the spread for my decor and I'm using some red glitter washi tape, which I love and had for quite a while. Not many opportunities to use it, so the holidays is a great time to bust it out and just have fun with all the glitter and the sparkle that it brings. So I'm using that and also a couple of paper stickers that have those pine branches that are so reminiscent of this season. And now I'm just doing a quick flip through, trying to find something to put in the circle of that wreath just to tie everything together and it just feels like it needs something and I wasn't prepared to put that on the spread. So went into my sticker books, I found a gold heart that I think will work nicely and dropped that in. So I'm going to go ahead and outline the first couple of kindness tasks for the month just so you can see what I plan to do throughout. I'm using two colors. I'm going to use this red tone and then a green matching up with what I have there in the decor as far as color scheme. I'll do the whole thing off camera. I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how I was going to do it. I'm just going to vary back and forth the colors red, green, red, green. Okay, so we've moved on to the next spread, and this one I'm gonna bust out the wax paper so that I can figure out where everything's gonna go. I pulled quite a few stickers that I think I can use here, but I wanna make sure that everything fits together and doesn't look too cluttered. This one sticker I have here on my finger right now, the green one, um, says Mary, and it is a box sticker that I trimmed up. It looked the same as the Love and Joy, so it's made for a dashboard layout, but I trimmed it so that it looks more like a banner, and I'm going to use the other pieces both on the monthly goal section, and then I'll use that little arrow as well on my prayer list section. 
So just try to figure out how these are going to balance out up here in the monthly goals and how I want that to look. Also just going to drop in a few quotes and things around spreading around the color and also pulling in some of these branches here as well. Again, tying everything together in the theme. Most of everything I put down before this gold amen circle was from the Homebody season sticker book. And then I found some accents that go well and tie more into the faith in the Faith mini sticker book that I have. Mostly anything that's like solid gold came from that sticker book. So I pulled three wreath looking stickers here for this big section that is always kind of like a big giant space and wasn't real sure how I was going to lay those in. Right now I have them just kind of across the top. We'll see if that stays. I was going to do what I did last year in December on my horizontal where the wreaths were actually coming from the top kind of looping. But I had done that already once in a previous faith spread. So I decided not to do that again and just kind of play more with the wreaths as a whole instead of trying to crop them. So just doing a little bit of layering with stickers that I have there on the bottom. Trying to find homes for some of these ones that I pulled. December is going to be a busy month, so I'm trying not to overwhelm myself in any one area. So I'm, I'm filling in a lot of space with anything with a sticker so that I don't have so much to fill out this month. I know I, I'm probably not going to be as consistent as I normally am in this planner, so I'm just trying to make it pretty and full without me having to do too much. I also busted out the red foiled washi. That and I believe the glitter one both came from a washi tube I got for Comic-Con, which was, you know, about superheroes. So the kind of Wonder Woman style red foil is working there. And then the glitter was in there, I believe, as well. I really like that it just brings that pop of red to the spread where everything else is kind of a soft muted green and gold. Just adding that red just really just vibrates on the spread and, and makes it so much more, I don't know, appealing to look at. So I'm trying to figure out how to layer in these different washi tapes that I pulled and just trying things and seeing what I like and where things might go. I decided I didn't like the wreaths all together at the top. It was just a little too straight and I don't know, just didn't feel right. So I'm going to try a little cluster here together and see if I like that any better. And I think that's much more interesting to look at. So I'm going to probably stick with that. Add in a few of the Holly stickers that I kind of created, like I said before, using Sharpie pen over the natural red that comes on that sticker sheet. And then again, trying to pull in some more of that washi red. Just makes everything look so much more vibrant. I think I've got a pretty good idea of how everything's going to work out, so we'll start moving things on to the spread. I like to start with things that I am pretty confident of where they're going to go, so that's where we're going to begin. And I'm going to lay in that section that says note to self. That's where I usually put in a memory verse for the month, and I hope to do that again this month been doing the Ten Commandments out of Exodus, so 
should be able to get that in there just fine. I'm down to some of the shorter ones, so maybe I'll be able to fit more in for a memory. I'm just doing some movement placement here. Laying things down, organizing things a little bit here, making the, everything line up the way I intended. And I thought that the washi tape was here, but I think it wasn't quite laid in that way. So I'm going to move it and see if I can figure out how I had it before. Sometimes I think it would be better one way and it really isn't. So <laughs> then I have to go back and then kind of forgot how I did it before. I'm going to go ahead and move to the next side. Start laying things in over here. Here's a, another situation where I thought it would be better in a different way and then I forgot about this branch. So it's not going to work the way I was thinking. So I'm gonna go back to the original. And actually maybe even move it over a little bit more to give myself some more room. I'm actually pretty excited with the way that this turned out. These pages are pretty full. I left myself a lot of room though on the following pages, which you'll see for writing in verses. I kept that a little bit more simple, but I just really think that this is going to be a fun spread theme to go through for the month of December. Definitely has all of those holiday feels. I love just the colors and I don't know, the cheer. So. It's going to be a good month. And that wasn't layered quite right. It was a little bit crooked, so just making an adjustment. And then I'm going to reset these guys so that everything is aligned like I want it to be. And these gold circles, those all came from the Faith Mini sticker book. Okay, let's see. So let's just add in these last holly berries. Finish this part off. Okay, that'll work. And let's move on to the main writing section that I'll be using here for my verse of the day writing. And if you guys are interested in seeing what these spreads look like after the pen, uh, after I actually fill them out, just check out my monthly flip throughs. I always show my faith along with my horizontal, my health, and also my dashboard social media planners in those videos all after the pen so you can see how I'm actually using the planner. Sometimes that's helpful to see and, and just kind of beyond the decor, how I actually keep my planner functional for me. I'm going to keep it real simple up here at the top. Like I said, I'm just going to use one wreath on the center and then a couple of branches with some of those holly berries I mentioned before to 
just add a little decor there at the top but otherwise it's going to be pretty simple and here I'm showing you how I actually created that darkening effect on the dot stickers I had a pink dark pink sharpie pen that I thought would kind of darken the color but also bring a little bit more of the pink hue which seems to be the colors in the stickers that I'm already pulling so it just worked out really well darkened it but also kind of geared it a little bit more towards the pink versus the orange tones that were really vibrant on the sticker sheet and since I'm keeping everything simple I just started layering in the numbering for the days very clean simple numbers I'm using this month so that's really very classic looking and I really like how it all turned out in the end these numbers came from a dashboard extension pack that I've had in my stash for a while and just didn't use so I've been using that to number a majority of my spreads for my faith planner for the full year of 2020 And I'm just going to go ahead and continue the numbering over here, just since I was in that groove, get that done, and then I will finish up the top half in a similar manner as the previous spread. And I get a lot of questions about my tweezers when I use them a lot like this. They are just some tweezers I bought a long time ago from Kohl's. I thought I was going to use them actually as tweezers for the eyebrows, but I ended up not liking them for that. So I started using them for the planning and they worked out perfect. So just some really simple tweezers, nothing special about them. And I don't have a link because I bought them so long ago, but I'm sure you can find something similar in any beauty section of a store. So I laid in these branches, but I totally misjudged how much space I needed there for the holly berries. So I'm going to put those in first and then put the branches down just to fix that kind of big gap that was lingering there. And I do trim the edges off. I'm saving all of those in case I do another spread with these branches in the future. But I just didn't find a place that I could use my trimmings this time around on the spread. So for you guys who know that I like to keep my trimmings and reuse them most of the time, I'm just going to save them and reuse them in the future. And basically once I'm all done with this, you guys, we will be done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch and think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Bye!